Hello, welcome to a new video this week. Now, at the end of 2020, which was a pretty dark year, you might have noticed the Pokemon YouTube scene kind of take off. A 10, just a fantastic card. This is this is awesome. And they <gasps> Achete! Achete! Oh my god! And you ready? No! We got a. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, we got one! Bro, I caught me. Two cards left. Oh! oh! We got a Charizard! We got the first Charizard of the day! Oh my god! Shit! Oh my god! I told you! Oh my god! What did I tell you? Oh my god, no, 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 So yeah, it, it, it went absolutely mental. Pokemon cards flying left, right and center for crazy amounts of money. But today's video, I'm not even gonna be looking into buying or even looking into Pokemon cards like one, I can't afford it. I just wanna see if the rarest cards are somewhere out there for sale. And we're gonna be looking into some of the rarest cards and literally just seeing if there are people out there willing to, you know, sell these cards. So we're gonna be looking through some of the cards. Now, I've, I've got a list down. I did do some research into the rarest Pokemon cards and I, I'm really intrigued because I, I never really got into the Pokemon card scene on YouTube, but I was watching some videos and like when I was younger as a kid, I mean, I used to love collecting Pokemon cards and I'm pretty sure that's the same with everyone else or most people out there. Like collecting cards was a hobby, you know? So the first Pokemon cards I'm going to look at is the rarest trainer cards. So the rarest ones are the first ever trainer, the second trainer and the third trainer. So I'll be intrigued to see if they're about because I've read stuff about it and this the, the trainer cards, especially the first ever one, is very hard to, to find. All right, so I'm looking through and there are trainer cards going here. And to be fair, I have a lot of, I like I have a few cards and I didn't realize how much trainer cards could actually go for. Wait, I have, wait, let me go back up. I've got, I've literally got this card. I don't know, I, I, probably not in, in great condition, but I have, I have this card. But I don't see the 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 first ever ever trainer card here. I think we're gonna we're gonna ditch the trainer card and we'll move on to actual Pokemon cards. Now, this card is one that has been flying around as probably everyone wants this card. It is the first edition Shadowless Holographic Charizard. I mean, this is one of the cards that everyone wants. Everyone just seems to want and spend ridiculous amount of money on this card. So. We're hoping that we can find one of these today. All right, so we've got a few first edition holographics, not the Charizard, but there are a lot of other ones. So this would be a good idea to just, if you've got your Pokemon lying around, just go through it. I mean, they won't probably be in the best condition, but you could probably get a, f a few quid for them. I have this card. Wait, what? Do I? This Charmander. Look, I have that. I have that, look. It's going for 500 quid. I, I was going to talk about this later, but I've just seen this. What? No way. This is this is that card. It's probably not in as good condition. That is, that is mental. This card is going for 500 pounds. I've got it in my hand right now. What the hell? That is crazy. Oh my God. What? I mean, it's in decent condition. I, I, I obviously have to get someone to have a look at that. But that that is insane. I'm taking really, really good care of this card now. Let me try and get that in focus for you. Look, look at that. That is a char look Charmander. That is the same one. 
And I've got it in my hands right now. That is crazy. That's going for 500 pounds. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. All right. Because I was going to go through some of the cards I had at the end, but that is insane. I was not expecting that. All right. 500 pounds. <laughs> crazy. All right. We're still looking for this. Um, still looking for this Charizard though. Oh, we got one. Half a mil. Right there. PSA 10. PSA 10, that's what we're looking for. Shadowless 99 Pokemon base set. That is crazy. Look, there it is. There, that is that is the boy. I don't think it's a holographic though. Oh, it is a hollow. It is a hollow. Look at that. There we go. We got one. Look, 600 grand. Mental. Mental. All right, <laughs> we're gonna. We'll move on because I think that one is done. We found it. It's going for around 600 grand. All right. So there is also a Pokemon Top Sun 1995 first edition Charizard. So because Charizards are popular, we've already found one. So let's let's go for another one. Is this the one? Red card 995. It's going for about 500 quid. Surely that can't be the one. There's another one there going for 800 quid. Dark Charizard first edition non holo Pokemon Team Rocket. I don't think that's one. We've got another PSA 9 first edition Charizard Shadowless. Going for 46 grand. Unless it's one of these, please, please let me know if, if, if I already found it. But I don't I don't think this one is knocking about. Alright, still keeping on Charizards. We've got the first edition Shining Charizard. So this is another rare 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 card. Alright, this looks like the one. We've got two grand there. Right, this one maybe looks like the one. Look, it's PSA 10, 26 and a half grand. That is mental. That I think that is the one. I think we found it. The first edition Shining Charizard. Right there, 20, 27 grand. We've also got another one uh, here. PSA 10, uh, Shining Charizard first edition. So these, these ones are going for around 20 grand, 30 grand. Um, which is still a crazy amount for... For, for a card. So next we've got the first edition Shadowless Holographic Blastoise. Uh, so let's have a look and see if that one is still rocking about. Is this the one? This one looks like the one. It's a PSA 6. So it's going to be a bit less. So that's, that's going for around 2 grand. Another PSA 6. Around 2 grand. Yeah, these ones look like they're going to look PSA 7. Uh, 3 grand. Not being a PSA 9 or 10 on it though, but you can see how like even just the PSA 6, PSA 7s, they're still going for a lot of money, like three grand. Like that's not that's not that's not cheap for a bit of cardboard. Alright, so I've done looking through finding the rarest ones. Now it is difficult to find the rarest Pokemon because at the end of the day they are rare for a reason. I have got a lot more other cards just just collected over the years that Either I was given or, you know, by my brothers or I just collected myself. So I want to look through and see if I have any steals in here. I won't go through them all because there's a lot. And obviously I know that some aren't probably of value than others. So we'll just go through the ones that um, I think are of value. I've got this Bulbasaur. Uh, it's not in the best condition like all of these cards. But I just want to see how much it is worth. All right, this Bulbasaur is going for £25. Oh, wait, that's a Shadowless. This has got a shadow on it. Yeah, look, you see, it's there's so many details. Like, this one, the one that I've got in my hand, it's got the shadow around it. So you can see, you can see there, it's, it's got the shadow. This one is Shadowless. So it's the way some were printed, which makes them worth more than other cards. So go through your Pokemon cards and just see 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 what you got lying around but you have to look into the detail like i thought it was 25 quid but just because of this little bit of shadow here it, it's not it's not the same as the one without the shadow which is it's, it's mental how it, how it works it's mental like how the value of these cards are are worked on so next i've got this pikachu now and he's got a shadow as well but i just want to see if even he c can be worth a bit or something now this is going to be a last card because pikachu is my, my, my favorite Pokemon ever. This guy's got 50, 
it is literally this one. Yeah, this is worth nothing because he's selling 58 out of 102 for 3.99. Mental. All right, so again, absolutely nothing to me. Pig Joe, get in the bin, lad. All right, for one last search, I just want to go search this Charmander again because I just noticed it's got a shadow on it. So um, <laughs> I'll probably done myself a bit dirty there. All right, come on. Here we go. This is going to tell me that it's worth nothing. Yeah, there we go. He's got the shadow. You. All right, that means I'm worth absolutely nothing. That was that was a waste of time. All right, that is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Maybe you might have found some of the rarest, but honestly, if you've got Pokemon cards lying around, then just go go have a look because you might find a, a, a absolute steal lying in your in your house. But be careful to look at the shadows, all right? Make sure you look at the shadows because I forgot to look at the shadows on Charmander thinking I got a 500 quid card and you see the shadow and it's worth about 99p. So so you got to make sure you look at all the details otherwise you're probably going to yeah, make yourself look like a mug like I just did. Anyways, guys, thank you for coming along and watching. If you did enjoy then please like and also press subscribe if you, if you want to. If you didn't enjoy then come back next week. And uh, hopefully, you know, you like that video. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.